Hey everybody, so here's something I didn't think about until today. Apparently, every time I take a footstep, I generate somewhere between 5 and 10 watts. Estimates vary. I thought that was crazy, because on an average day, I'll take about 10,000 steps or so, and that turns out to be around about 14 watt hours. I mean, my phone is 10 watt hour battery, so I could keep my phone charged just by walking around. I don't actually need to plug it in. And of course, that isn't something that's escaped people. And we have lots of footstep generators where there's a static pavement you tread on. And the military are looking at things like go oh, generating shoes, bouncing backpacks that generate, because this is a lot of energy. And there's about 8 billion of us, so it's a huge amount of energy and an intensive area of research. There are, of course, lots of people do, coming up with lots of interesting ideas, but the interesting challenge is most human movement is either bouncing up and down or moving backwards and forwards. There's not an awful lot of this kind of thing that goes on. And if you think about nature, in the natural environment, most of that movement is reciprocating. Very, very little of it is circular. So changing that up and down, backwards and forwards, into round and round is one of the interesting challenges that people are facing. Of course, you could look at things like linear generators, but they have their own issues. The main thing is that. Now, we have looked at this when we looked at a ratchet mechanism that only went one way, irrespective of how you turned it. But it was quite a lot of parts, and it was quite uh, complicated to build. However, in 1956, 1956, eh, Seiko came up with this thing, and they called this thing 100% the magic lever. Now, the magic lever is awesome because whichever way you turn this, this drive will turn this only in one way, the direction of the arrow. What Seiko did was they attached a weight to it, and that's how their self-winding watches work. There's a oscillating weight that drives in only one direction to wind up a spring. And of course, I'm fascinated by that for my own reasons, mostly to do with energy scavenging and energy ga gathering, energy generation. So I drew this up in Tinkercad. Of course, I have made these files freely available in Thingiverse, and the link for that is in the description below. Now, I've made it relatively large because I want to be able to see it. I want to be able to handle it and work it. Now, the idea here is that the input could be by another gear system input here either oscillating or rotating and the output would be drawn from here which would be rotation only in one direction now the joy of this is it's only really three parts we've got the ratchet mechanism there that goes on the bottom we've got the drive which is really a crank actually it's just a crank and i've put um, the cog on like i say so i can interface it and then this ratchet arm now the ratchet arm matters which way around it goes you'll notice there's a square hook here and a rounded hook here and it goes on there like that that's it put together this little clip just holds that on top <laughs> there you go Dead easy, few parts. Let's have a look at it actually working. And I'm with Seiko on that. That truly is a magic lever. What I'm thinking is uh, putting this mechanism into some kind of walking arrangement so that a walker could generate enough electricity to keep their electronics charged. Anyway, I hope you like the mechanism. Thank you very much for watching. And please do, do remember to like and subscribe.